Yeah, so we knew right from the start that we wanted it to be the largest horizon yet. Um, but it's not far down the path from that that you realize you don't want to go big if it's just going to be more of the same. So we also knew that it needed to be the most contrasting, most diverse open world we'd ever built. And then when you start to look at Mexico, it, it really is like the whole world in one country. It's got snowy peaks, tropical jungles, epic canyons, amazing beaches, beautiful architecture, incredible historic cities, but also modern cities as well. It really has everything. And then you add in the culture, the music, the artwork, the people, the history. And there really is no more exciting location for the Horizon Festival. Now that we're in Mexico, what are some of the authentic elements that we can expect in the game? Yeah, totally. So we've got the largest and most diverse world we've ever built. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, something that really excited us about Mexico is the culture. So we've worked with creatives from all across Mexico. We've had Mexican artists produce beautiful mural artwork that you'll find on the walls around the game. We've worked with Mexican music acts to produce original compositions for the game. Wow. We've worked with Mexican scriptwriters and actors so that all of those Mexican voices you hear in the game will sound really authentic. And perhaps not as obvious, uh, but the other thing that is super authentic is uh, all of our light data and skies. So we had a team out in Mexico uh, with our 12K HDR sky capture rig. We captured more than 400 hours of sky data, and then we recreate that in-game. Um, so all of the, the light, the shadows, the color information, uh, all of it is recreated in-game based on real light data captured from Mexico. So everything you're seeing there is, just has that real authenticity, that, that, that feeling of, of reality. And we got a peek at Event Lab. Now, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so Event Lab is a, a really exciting uh, new suite of tools that will allow people in the community to create wh whatever this they This is going to be fun, creating your own stage. Right All of this that we see has been built uh, using that Event Lab tool set. Uh, the bowling pins that have been placed. So someone's gone along, they've placed those, and then they've created rules that touch on them as well. So as we see, every time they're hitting them, uh, a rule has been set up such that it gives, gives players points. And then also in that, in that clip, you can see that everyone else in that multiplayer session is hitting bowling pins as well well, and all of that is adding into a collective team score. Uh, the rules could have easily been set up so that it wasn't a team score, that it was competitive. All of that creative freedom is, is, is open to players. It's, as, as a game designer, I think it's the feature that I'm most excited about in, in Forza Horizon 5. And I would say as a gamer, it's a feature I'm definitely <laughs> excited about because this really is going to open up some unique That's features awesome. between me and my friends. Now, with the power of the Xbox Series X and the S, what are some of the new technical features that we can expect? Mm. So in, in Forza uh -oh. Vista, we're really able to turn up everything, ramp everything on, turn on ray tracing, and we have the cars looking more realistic than they ever Ooh. have before, unparalleled detail. But that detail, it does apply to the rest of the world as well. During the uh, Xbox E3 showcase the other day, I mentioned we'd modeled the detail on everything, right down to the individual needles on the Choya cactus. Uh, that was just the plants that happened to be closest to the camera at that point. Um, that, that level of detail is applied to everything that you see. And Thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles, it's not just things that are right in front of the camera as well. We've really been able to push out all of the, the LODs and the draw distance and everything so that everything in the scene is full of that detail. Beautiful. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we capture that light data from Mexico. So you get this realistic lighting, shadows, AO, all of it comes together to create a scene that just looks real. Now, Mike, when can the world expect to play Forza Horizon 5? Sure. So we're launching this holiday on the Xbox Series consoles, the Xbox One consoles. We're on PC, on both the Windows 10 Store and Steam. Of course, we're in Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate. And you can play us on your Android device with Xbox Cloud Gaming. And players who purchase the Premium Edition or if they're a Game Pass subscriber and get the Premium Add-ons bundle, you'll get early access as well. So you'll be able to play a little Ooh, bit earlier than everybody I think else. I'm about to get that add-on bundle. Now, Mike, bundle. this is a huge moment for you and the team. What does this mean to you? Yeah, well, for me personally, I mean, I've been working on the Forza franchise for a really, really long time, but this is my, this is my first game as creative director. So in this period over the last few days and, and week or so, as people are seeing it for the first time, for me, it's probably been one of the most exciting experiences in my life. It's been absolutely incredible. Again, Mike, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Later in the show, we'll be hearing from wow, the- Wow, that was pretty cool. So, we already knew that they captured everything with like 12k what was it like the 12k hdr footage we already knew that but you know the ray tracing stuff we'll have to see because if you're trying to play the game at 4k um 
you know, with the 4K settings or with the 60 frame settings, uh, I know you're going to have to tinker with that and you, you're probably going to lose either like ray tracing or something. Hopefully they have a performance mode that you're able to have ray tracing with all those added features for the, you know, the lighting and stuff. But I love how this game is going to be super authentic, you know, and that's one thing that I really love and appreciate about uh, the Forza Horizon series that they always embrace the land that you're that they're covering in, in that specific game. So I expect this to be no different, you know, if anything, much better because they have more to build on. So this little insight that they just gave us was was definitely a, a, another piece of exciting information, which makes me look even uh, look look even more forward to this game so um now they're saying that since you have game pass and you just want to buy the add-on you're able to do that to play it early so i like that feature as well not having to buy the full game uh plus the add-ons um if you already have game pass because i'm gonna have the game pass regardless so i don't really gotta buy the add-ons and the and the mini games yeah the mini games is gonna be super exciting uh, to see how people create and, and do a bunch of crazy stuff so um I don't know. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I like everything I see from it so far. Um, that That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 